Hi, everyone. Here with Nick Kim, our uh, economic justice spokesperson here on Budget Night in Canberra. We've spent the last few hours together with this amazing team going through all of the details. And here's some of the things that we think you need to know about the budget. A budget that comes in the middle of a climate crisis, a housing crisis and an inequality crisis. Does it make things better? No. Sure doesn't. Uh, there is $38 billion and more for coal, oil and gas. And if you want to know how that stacks up, there's $1.6 billion for renewable energy. So $38 billion and more um, of your money going to coal, oil and gas to make the climate crisis worse. Yeah, look, uh, it's almost <laughs> lost for words on that one. We know we're living in the middle of a housing crisis in this country. We know that a whole generation of young people are just being priced out of the property market. Uh, won't surprise you to know under the Liberals there is no new money in this budget to build affordable housing. And in fact, there is $13 billion in uh, capital gains tax discount, in the negative gearing to, uh, to hand out to property speculators that will continue to turbocharge the property market and continue to make it harder for people to get into the property market and more expensive for people to rent houses. So money spent on making housing more expensive. We shouldn't be surprised. Uh, fantastic. Um, it gets better. Um, you might be feeling like many other people in the country pretty significant pressures about being able to make ends meet. Um, so many things like education, housing, uh, health care costs are going through the roof. But never fear, um, ScoMo's here and he's holding the cash hose this time. And uh, wait for it, if you're low middle income earner, you'll get $420. Not, not every week, not every fortnight, not every month, one-off. You'll get a one-off $420 payment. But if you're a billionaire, Nick, how much do you reckon billionaires get? Four hundred twenty. Fair bit more than that, Adam. A bit more than that. Nine thousand and seventy-five dollars yeah. in tax cuts, and it's permanent. They get that year it's on hard. year on year on year. So, as you can see, like this, this is a budget that is going to make the inequality crisis worse. Sure is, and it wouldn't be, Adam, would it? Uh, a pre-election budget if there wasn't a little bit of cash handout for some folks as well. So, some folks will get. Uh, a $250 cash handout. There are people on um, some benefits at the moment, but this is a one-off payment, basically a pre-election bribe. Uh, what it will do is it will lift some folk out of poverty for the grand total of about two weeks, and then at the end of the two weeks, it'll plunge them straight back into poverty again, and the meat grinder will continue. Yeah, and uh, there's... In previous budgets, they've been criticised for not mentioning the environment. So they've learned about that. And this time, $128 million to remove environmental Yeah, we protections. wish they hadn't mentioned the environment. Yeah, right? I know, that's right. <laughs> to make it easier for coal and gas corporations to come in uh, and big developers to come in and completely wreck the environment. Already our environment laws basically Swiss cheese that don't protect a whole lot of threatened species and the biodiversity that we need. But, you know, why not use a budget to make them worse? So $128 million so that big corporations can get around the already weak environment protections that we've got. Absolutely. And speaking about um, trashing the environment and speaking about ignoring the wishes of traditional owners in this country, there is $300 million of new money to frack the Beetaloo Basin. This is a corporate welfare writ large and of course on the flip side something we should be doing but isn't in the budget is any new money to accelerate the electric vehicle revolution in Australia. So the money goes in to climate destroying um, projects that are, are going against the wishes of First Nations folk, uh, nothing to accelerate electric vehicle transition. Now imitation is the sincerest form of flattery so those of you who've been um, seeing us for the last few months calling for dental and mental health care to be in Medicare. We were kind of hoping we might get gazumped on this, but not a thing, not a cent. Dental and mental health are still out of Medicare. Yeah, and uh, something else we would have loved to see in this budget is forgiving student debt. Uh, alas, the news is bad there as well. Student debt is projected to increase by about $9 billion, from 61 to $71 billion, when what we really need to do is abolish student debt. And lastly, there's not one mention in the Treasurer's speech of the Integrity Commission. That might surprise you, Nick, after all those, those donations they received from coal and gas corporations. Might it surprise you that there's no mention of an Integrity Commission, but there's not. Um, but never fear, we're less than 50 days away from an election. So after the election, with Greens in balance of power, we'll set up an Integrity Commission with teeth and send them after the current Liberal front bench. Oh, well, we will.
Authorised by Jamie Cole, Australian Greens, Canberra.